But <clears throat> not a lot of teams come in here and win tonight the way that UConn was. Um, you know, they played, in, in my opinion, they played uh, just like they were playing um, when they were 14-0 and, and number two in the country. So on our side, we didn't do enough uh, all around, offensively, defensively, um, to stand up to them and counteract them. Um, you know, the first play of the game, and the, the last play of the first half were kind of microcosms of that. You know, they, UConn was at a high level. They made tough shots, uh, but we could have done a little bit more. And uh, I think it's still a learning process for our guys, understanding that there's really no other way uh, to win a game like this but to come in here with the desperation to do everything we have to do. And then even if we do that, um, UConn may still win this game tonight the way that they shot the ball and the way that they were. Shucky, you got, you know, they hit the three right on that first possession, and then Andre Jackson got the alley-oop a couple minutes later, and the crowd was going crazy. Do you think your guys just got staggered back a little bit after those first couple minutes? I think UConn was certainly the aggressor. Um, anytime that you beat a team at, at your place and then you got to go back to their place, you got to be ready for them to be very, very hungry for payback. Um, they were the aggressor. I thought we guarded really, really well that whole first possession, and then, you know, Hawkins made a heck of a shot. We probably could have contested it better. Um, playing teams like this, they're going to create certain challenges, certain problems. Um, and as a group, we've got to come together and find a way to, to solve those. Didn't do enough of that today. You know, you guys reached number 10 in the rankings yesterday and then lose by 17 tonight. How worried about you or your, uh, about your guys' confidence in bouncing back from this one? Yeah, the rankings mean nothing. It's, it's amazing, this, the disparity. Um, no disrespect to anyone in here between what the ranking means to media and fans in the middle of the season and what it means to players and coaches. Like, it just, it just doesn't mean anything. UConn was number two. You know, we were number 10. Now we're not going to be number 10. You know what I mean? Like, so who cares? You know, they, they're a really good team on their home floor. Um, our guys' confidence, you know, to me, confidence comes from lived experience. And now we've got 25 games worth of that. Um, you know, to be one of the younger teams in this league, I think our guys have, have stepped forward and grown a great deal. Um, but, you know, there's no reason you should walk out of here with your head down after losing to UConn. Um, because, again, they, they played at the level that they were playing at uh, when they were number two in the country. What? Right. Put you know, what, what did UConn do, I mean, just in terms of technic technically, but what did they do uh, that they were doing earlier in the year that they had stopped doing? And what did you see from them tonight that you didn't see in the first game against them? Well, uh, you know, the interesting thing, you, you probably would have to ask UConn that from the standpoint of before we even get into basketball, there are <clears> – <throat> spiritual and cultural elements of who you are as a team that go into being your best. And they clearly had that going for them tonight, maybe more so than when they lost a few games over that stretch. Um, you know, I've, I've always felt like all year watching them that they have as talented of a team as there is in our league, as well coached of a team, uh, as good of a system, um, as many guys that create problems and issues for you. So they were, first and foremost, they were in a good place. They, they were in the place to go uh, get revenge against a team that beat them a month ago. Um, and then what did they do basketball-wise? They got twice as many rebounds as us. That's a problem. Um, you know, Hawkins really owned the first half with his shooting and his aggressiveness. And I thought that was a real domino for their team and our team because now we're almost overreacting to him and it created a lot of opportunities for the rest of their team. And then defensively, they did a really good job changing up pick and roll coverages based on personnel. They were aggressive against Cam Jones. Uh, they tried not to get into too much help on Tyler Kolick. And so, you know, we had probably a season low. I don't think we've had 
anywhere near that low of a number for assists. Um, and that was a, a good game plan on their part. Anyone else? Ben? Go ahead, Benny. I can hear you. <laughs> Uh, just what did they do defensively against Oso with their size to kind of neutralize them? Uh, brute force. I mean, in this league, and, and I take my hat off to the officials because it is hard to officiate this league. You know, it's, um, <clears throat> it's really, really challenging in that there's a lot of physicality out there. And I think they do a good job of letting teams play. From our standpoint, we don't have the biggest – we're not going to win the Mr. Universe uh, contest against UConn, all right? They go out there in, 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 uh, and, and demonstrate the physiques that they have. They're probably going to beat us in that. Um, so I think the physicality, the aggressiveness um, affected Oso. I think he, when he tried to drive, Sonogo did a really good job moving his feet and then also using his body. Uh, but the reality is, like, we have different things we can do as a team uh, when we dig down deep and we stay focused on what we practice. And we didn't do enough of those tonight. And, and UConn deserves a lot of credit for taking us out of some things. Uh, but we, we, absolutely, we absolutely can be better um, at, at finding answers when teams do that. You got good minutes from Ben Gold in the first half. What did you, you see out of him? I thought Benny Gold, Shawnee Jones, uh, were terrific uh, for us. They were. They probably played better than anybody on our team. And you got two freshmen coming into this environment, uh, playing with real poise and aggressiveness. I thought Sean's ability to get in the paint was huge. Ben's ability to make threes. And then on one possession, he brought a guy out at him when he was able to, to, to pop and then drove the ball. Uh, ben probably should have played more, you know, because against a team that's in that type of coverage, that's – that's about the best antidote. So um, those guys played well, but as a team overall, um, my job as a head coach, I got to find a way to help our whole team play better. Starting on the defensive end, you can't give up 40-some in each half. And obviously, we were fighting and clawing the second half. We didn't play quite the same style we would normally play. Um, but I thought UConn did a good job of attacking us and continuing to play well.